the menopause myth busted. What if I told you that menopause isn't the end of your superpowers, but the beginning of your financial power phase? What am I talking about? What do I mean? Okay, so we know that during perimenopause, when your hormones are doing that hormonal shit show and they're doing whatever they want to do, that at some point is going to come to an end. That phase is going to be over and we're going to enter into post-menopause. And we don't know how long this perimenopause is going to last. I get that. We don't know how debilitating, how severe that perimenopausal phase is going to last. I get that. But once that brain fog starts to lift, or even during that phase... We as women can start to hyper-focus on certain aspects and that can increase our clarity and productivity on certain aspects. So what the key is, is to shift that hyper-focus to places that are more productive, that are more useful to us. Now, I know that I have gone on about how during perimenopause, during the menopause phase, Full-time work, finances can be affected. What I am saying is we can utilise this time to help us hyper-focus on the more useful aspects that are going to help with our finances, help with our creativity, and then help with how we are feeling about ourselves. So it can help us to get rid of, I don't know why I'm doing that, get rid of all these aspects of our lives at the time that are no longer of any use, that are not being productive, that are not being helpful. And we need to take into account the fact that our hormonal profile has changed and our ability to function at the level that we did before may have changed our bodies are not going to be quite up to what they used to be when we were a lot younger now we put the perimenopause as this cut off there's been a gentle lead up to this you know when we haven't been able to do as much as we used to we haven't needed to do as much as we used to because let's face it as we get older our lifestyles change anyway you know be out nightclubbing, getting in at five, maybe brushing your teeth if you're lucky, getting up at seven and getting into work. Those sort of days have been long gone even before we hit perimenopause. However, what we do know, that I didn't turn my phone off, so it's pinging. Let me just turn that off so it doesn't ping again. That was a bit rude of me, wasn't it? What we also know is that we've brought a lot of us to the table. We've brought a lot of baggage with us to the table. And this menopause phase can be a time of epiphany, if you like. Get rid of the rubbish. Our hormones are getting rid of things. So my, what, why don't we? We can do. So bear in mind that... We may have been in the same job for the past 20, 30 years. And this perimenopause stage, this hormonal change could give us the epiphany we need to say, hold on a minute, I can't function at this level anymore. And you're not actually utilizing my skill set, my experience as much as could be. So what we can do is get rid of all the junk from these jobs, remove that and give us a little bit more mental capacity to do the things that we're good at, to do the things that we want to do, to do the things that we like. And what that then does is increases our self-confidence, increases our self-esteem, makes us feel so much better about ourselves because we are focusing on the things that make us feel good the things that give back more. So it's time to 
slow down. Look at what it is that ignites your fire. What it is that you feel passionate about. And then make a few decisions. Focus on what it is. We know our time scale is shrinkering. That was a new word, shrinkering. I quite like that word. We know that when we see all these TikTokers, Instagrammers, influencers in their 20s and 30s that are saying, we've got all of this time, we can... Yeah. Once you hit perimenopause, you know that that time that you've got left is not as long. So you might as well hyper-focus on the things that are going to give you more. So, what do I mean by that? I don't just mean do the things that you really, really like. I don't just mean ditch everything else. What I mean is hyper-focus on the things that are going to make you more financially stable, happier about your lot, be able to give back more. Apply the energy that you've got, because it may be reduced. Mine definitely is since I've gone through perimenopause. Those three o'clock afternoon little sit downs and chills. Yeah, I really look forward to those. Don't mean to say that I have a nap. I may at some point, but I really do struggle with fatigue now. But what I need to do is make sure the time I've got is focused effectively on making my life next year, the year after, a lot better than where it is now. And you can do that. So that's your new superpower. Your new superpower is to get rid of all the fluff and concentrate on the things that are going to be productive and useful for you and to you. And we know financial burdens as we age really do affect how we feel about ourselves, how we conduct ourselves and how our life is moving forward. We all still want to be able to go on those cruises. We all still, well, I don't, don't like cruising. We all still want to be able to go on the foreign holidays. We all still want to be able to buy the nice cars. We still want to be able to buy the grandkids that present that their parents have said they're not having. If this is ringing bells, drop me a comment below so that I can talk to you about some of the changes that you can make to your lifestyle they don't have to add to anything they definitely don't take away they do require a little bit of effort but let's face it a little bit of effort for long-term productivity and long-term profitability and long-term peace of mind peace of mind on how you feel about yourself how your finances are how you can give back to others is going to be much better than slogging through what you're doing. So yeah, menopause, it's not the end. Menopause is a new reawakening time and we want to get rid of everything that's holding us back and move forward, streamline it into being more efficient, more productive and a heck of a lot of that. A heck of a lot See, I still lose myself when I'm talking. That spot on the menopause. A heck of a lot happier. Didn't want to roll off my tongue then, did it? So, drop a message. Let's talk. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye for now.